in my hall of favorites. Oh, Millie didn't make it to the bed. It's your girl Jay and today I'm here with my December 2019 favorites video. Yes, again, I know that it is pretty much the end of January but I have had no time to film in the month of January. So we're getting to it now. I don't have too too many favorites. A lot of the stuff that I'm going to talk about is stuff that I got for Christmas so if you haven't watched my what I got for Christmas 2019 video then you haven't seen this stuff. If you did watch the video, you've seen a lot of this stuff, but I'm just being honest. These are my favorite things. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first thing I usually like to do is talk about experiences. I didn't really do anything in December because I was just planning for my teacher's college placement that was starting in January. So honestly, I didn't do anything, I didn't go anywhere, I didn't have any experiences, so sorry. Moving on to my next thing I usually talk about, movies. My family and I have this tradition where we go and watch a movie on Christmas Eve to kind of like chill us out waiting for Santa. It started when me and my brother were very very little as a way to like chill us out for when Santa was coming because we were crazy and so excited so it was like a distraction kind of thing. So this year we chose to go watch Jumanji 2. We saw Jumanji 1 like when it first came out like in theaters and we really enjoyed it so we were like why not go see number two and honestly I was pleasantly surprised just like Jumanji 1 I was pleasantly surprised. I did not think I was going to like the second one as much as the first one. It was really good. It was really funny. I love The Rock. I love Jack Black. I love Kevin Hart. So those three together was just great. And then there was some new characters thrown in there as well, which I thought were really fun. So if you haven't gone and seen Jumanji 2, definitely recommend it if you want to laugh Now moving on to things that I loved in December. Um, a lot of this is repeats, so I'll talk about the repeats first, I guess, just to make it easier. So if you want to skip this part, go for it. I'll probably talk about this stuff for like three minutes. I don't know. I'll put a time stamp maybe if I remember probably not. First thing that I loved in December was my giant burrito blanket. I think it is the funniest thing. It's literally just a big tortilla blanket. The guy I was seeing gave it to me for Christmas because I'm always freezing cold and I always talk about how I'm gonna go burrito myself so he thought it was really funny so yeah, burrito blanket. It is so warm and fuzzy and I love burritoing myself in it because it's just like it literally just looks like a giant tortilla and I think it's so cute. The next thing was also from the guy who I was seeing. It is my little German Shepherd puppy named Millie. He is in the military so we named her Millie because Millie military. Um, the first thing I ever said to him was, okay but does he have a dog? And he doesn't have a dog so he got me my own little doggo. So now I have a doggo. Yeah, we're not actually seeing each other anymore, but I still love both of the presents that he got me. So I thought I'd add them into my December favorites because they are my favorites. She still sits on my bed and I still sleep with the burrito blanket all the time because it's warm and fuzzy. So they're included. Next thing is the Corgi notebook that my brother's girlfriend Sam got me for Christmas. I just think it's like super cute. They have like little inserts for every couple of pages and I just think it's really cute. I've been writing in it as my new like diary because yes I write a diary because I like looking back on things so I completed my last one. This is the new one that I've been using but yeah super duper cute and I love it so much. And then the last like repeat thing for December that I already talked about is the game Coup. This was from my brother for Christmas. It's a strategy game that you can play with two to six people. Two people, not very fun, like you need at least three people. It's basically a game of deception. You can lie about the roles that you have. Certain roles do certain things and the whole point of the game is to be the last person standing. You lose lives based off of things that happen in the game and I just think it's really fun. Each game is like five minutes long so it goes by very fast. It's a good like party game. I'm a huge fan. If you haven't heard of Coup, definitely check it out. It's a lot of fun. Okay, now to the things that I haven't actually talked about. The first thing I got was another Funko Pop. Are we really surprised? Like, I have an obsession with them. I hadn't bought a Funko Pop in at least like two months so I was very proud of myself for not buying Funko Pop but I saw this one and 
I needed it. Is it Stitch Hula Ing? I freaking love Stitch. I actually already have two Stitch Pops. Lilo and Stitch is my second favorite Disney movie, so I feel like it is justified because it's not like I don't love the movie. Like, I freaking love Lilo and Stitch. So that's my justification. Yes, I have to justify my purchases because I don't like spending money. So that's my justification. All right, deal with it. But look how cute he is. I love him so much. And then I have one piece of clothing that I have been obsessed with. I haven't actually gotten to wear them yet because I was supposed to wear them for New Year's, but I didn't end up wearing them and I'm really upset about it, but I still wanted to show them because I think they're really cute. But they are these black heels. They are just like a chunky black heel. They're actually from Old Navy, which I am surprised because they are really cute. And honestly, I didn't think that Old Navy would have really cute shoes, but I'm a big fan. They're just like a chunky black heel. I was going to wear them for New Year's, but then it ended up snowing and like open-toed shoes in the snow. No not a fun time. So have not had an opportunity to wear them yet, but still think they're super cute. And I also have one other like article of clothing, but it's not really an article of clothing, but it is this hair elastic. It's not really a hair elastic. I'm going to age myself maybe, like I'm not really that old, but when phones used to have cords, they looked like this. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Those cords that curl. I found out that you can use these as hair elastics and oh my god, it has changed my life because hair elastics rip your damn hair out but these things, they just slides right out and it is the most amazing discovery I have ever made in my entire life and I freaking love this thing. It's going to be like my prized possession for the rest of my life but I literally only have one because my hair elastic snapped at school and I found this in my teacher's classroom. So technically I stole it, but I'm not mad about it. It's mine forever now. I love these things. All right, everybody. So those are my favorites for December 2019. I honestly don't know if I will have a favorites video from now on because like teacher's college killing me, like I said. And I've done nothing in January. I have no favorites because I've literally done nothing but math. And math is definitely not a favorite. So we'll see. Let me know down below a couple of your favorites for December 2019. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!